at the Florida State University. My secret to success. The following is a presentation of the Florida State University Communications Group. From University Lab to the Marketplace, higher education is cashing in on faculty inventions. An FSU scientist is using the world's most powerful magnets for research that could dramatically affect future medical care. Dean of the FAMU FSU College of Engineering, Ching Jen Chen, is studying how doctors could apply a direct magnetic field to guide red blood cells to do their work in a non-invasive manner. He says because iron is present in blood, it reacts to magnetic forces. Without the magnetic field, the red blood cell will be random floating in your body. But when you impose a magnetic field in there, the red blood cell, so to speak, like become a soldier of the tro troop. They all line up in one particular direction and just move uh, like that. And uh, that certainly affects uh, the freedom of the uh, blood cell rotating in the, in the flow, so it will slow down. But on the other hand, red blood cell reacted much stronger to the magnetic field, so the blood eventually will be able to separate. And that has a lot of uh, implication for uh, the medical applications. An so expert in like fluid dynamics, Missy Chen conducts his biomagnetic research at the National that. High Magnetic Field Laboratory, where he manipulates human blood flow with the world's most powerful magnets. This is the optical table, so we and we have a two-watt laser there, and the laser emits the light, which is the only single wavelength, and we'll be able to channel the light through uh, this, our test section, so to speak, which is containing the blood the mixture there. And uh, we impose a magnet here. This, this piece is a very strong magnet. So as a flow mixture there, we put the magnet across to it to see how the, the whole blood, particularly the red blood cell, reacted to the magnetic field. This magnet technology will lead to improvement of numerous medical procedures, including microsurgery. Because the magnetic fields slow blood circulation, the need for tight clamps would be reduced, therefore eliminating damage to blood vessels. Chen is also hoping to design medical devices to guide medicated blood cells directly to diseased cells in the body. We all know we take aspirin, and the aspirin will distribute to your whole body. Uh, but uh, if you'll be able to create some sort of the aspirin, which is a reactive magnetic field, then you can direct that drug to a particular place, like uh, elbow pain or joint pain and so forth. So a drug can cure that area much better. And uh, that being done, uh, even in the, uh, uh, the, the cancer tumor uh, treatment in there, if you'll be able to use a magnetic to hold the drug closer to the tumor, and uh, it will be able to penetrate the tumor and uh, uh, have a cure. Chen says scientists could also use magnetic fields to separate blood and treat diseased blood cells, which react more strongly to magnetic fields. Chen recently began working with Johnson & Johnson to create a device that separates white and red blood cells, helping to better treat leukemia and other diseases. FSU is helping to bring big business to the Big Bend. Eurus Technologies Incorporated, a company special...